Today we are buying an entire truck of lost cargo. Oh my gosh. These giant boxes are full of online orders that didn't make it to their final destination. Rather than throwing it away, the shipping companies auction it off in bulk. And I just bought 1,733 pounds of it for us to open together. They were any bigger, I couldn't move them. From truck to driveway, driveway to YouTube room. I have no idea what's in these. I got them from the same auction house that I have gotten some of those past ones from for $12,643.16. Tyler, you know what's in them. Maybe. No! <laughs> I don't really remember what's in these, but I do remember what's in this one because it's the treasure palette. What does that mean? You're gonna see. Okay, so we're skipping that one for now? Yeah, we'll save this one. Okay, what's the best box? I actually don't know. Tyler. Well, he's not giving me an answer, so we're gonna start with all of them. Three, two, one, go! Please pretend like that all spilled out in a really cool way. Oh! It's so much stuff. The goal is for this stuff to be worth at least what I paid for it. We've got one singular Doc Martin. These are expensive. Hopefully the other one's in there somewhere. Okay, we'll put it here until we find the mate. <gasps> Wait, those are actually cute. I like those. Size six, dang it, they're not my size. Oh, oh, what? Why are they so dirty? <gasps> Maybe this was one of those when the semi truck crashes. When this happens, insurance covers it all, but the goods have to be disposed of or sold off somehow. A box is pretty beat up, you never know. Let's see what these are. Oh, those are adorable. <laughs> Adidas Disney, they probably aren't cheap either. Let's do some clothes. Some of this stuff looks like it was just swiped from the store rack because it's still on the hanger. <laughs> this is a nice sports bra, it's Glider brand. There's a whole bunch of these hoodies. What does that even say? Outsider? <laughs> on the arm it says Outsider Colt. This is literal cult merch. It's a possessed box. There's so much of it too. What am I gonna do with it all? Start a cult. <sighs> okay, I don't know if there's more like in the bottom of that box, but I have 28 of them here. Next video, I returned merch to the cult. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, these hoodies are pretty cool actually. <laughs> but comment below and let me know if I should try to return these hoodies to the cult. Oh my gosh, wait, look at this one. Barstool Sports. Wait, no. JJ's Bar and Grill. Oh my gosh, they stole the Barstool logo. <laughs> Fayetteville, Arkansas. I feel kind of bad that all these companies and merches got lost. There's a bunch of these. Little pink dresses. Looks like they were part of a boutique order that got lost. More shoes. Under Armour. Oh, MSRP $75. We got a purse. Steve Madden. It's actually pretty cute. <laughs> There's just like a million dollars in here. Nope. K-Swiss. Ooh. Wait, those are cool. Dang, those are sick though. Oh, Birkenstocks. Those are a good color too. Size six. There's a lot of size six shoes so far. Birthday cards. <laughs> Anybody that we know just gets the same birthday card. <laughs> Oh no, it pops up. And then we've also got these. Oh, these ones are pop up too. $13 each. That's actually so nice. Oh, we got tie dye stuff. Old Navy. Those are cute. Also Old Navy. Dang, I might keep some of these. Oh, <gasps> stop it right now. Lululemon shorts. Oh no. <laughs> What are we gonna do? I don't know. Somebody knows how to get them all. $64 for these. Okay, we've got a bunch of like men's Carhartt work pants. About an hour into these boxes, we've gotten almost $2,000 worth of our money back. Okay, and then these, this whole shipment of Levi's jeans definitely got wet. It's like crusty. They don't smell, but it's clear that it got wet and dried. And there's so many of them in here too. There ended up being $520 of these Levi jeans. I'm convinced something weird happened to the truck. This stuff was being shipped in and the wrecked stuff just keeps coming. What the heck? It's a nice Adidas, but it just got <laughs> destroyed. Like the tag even. Abercrombie underwear. Okay, I see another Lululemon tag. Ooh, those are cool. What is with all of these shoes that don't have a match? What happened? Oh, what? Athleta. 
Those are like $100 leggings, just wrecked. Right in the gusset. Not the gusset. Holy cow, Lee, come and see this. They're all uh, Pam Pet fashion outfits, like hundreds of dollars worth of pet outfits. Okay, I pulled all of them out. 113 packs of pet outfits. Oh, this is Tory Burch. That's a nice brand. What size is it? Two, dang it, I can't have it. We are finally making a dent in these boxes and are about halfway from making all of our money back. Oh, we got some Baby Yoda tees. 141 Baby Yoda tees to be exact. Oh, we got an ice skating outfit. 7P, it's gotta be kids. Dang it, I want it to fit me. <gasps> Another glider sports bra. This box actually has thousands of dollars worth of brand new glider activewear in it, all size small and all still on the hangers. Weird. Oh, we've got a flower made out of eyelashes. That is the grossest display. It's so creepy. No. Oh, <laughs> what? Yes. What are these for? Who's wearing these? Do I need a flame resistant suit anytime soon? Turns out these are like over a hundred dollars. This box has a lot of stuff and they're all Adidas. 74 of these Adidas socks and 232 pairs of socks total in this haul. I don't know what to do with these. Okay, we got a bunch of these. They look like sweatshirts. Coastal Ridge. 2013. It's been lost since 2013. Maybe. Oh, another Steve Madden bag. This one's gonna be cute. Yeah, that's like a good size bag too. There was a lot more where that came from. $1,308 just in Steve Madden bags. And that means we are officially in the positive with this haul. What the? A Vans is a snowboarding boot? Dang, see if I can find the other one. Let's see what this is. Oh. <gasps> Wait, are these Apple? 99 bucks, that's $500 right there. Oh my gosh, I found something. This could be good. Versace hoodie. Oh, it's a set. Versace made like an affordable, it's still like hundreds of dollars, but an affordable collection called Versace jeans. I tried to give it to Tyler, but. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably not gonna wear this. I'm not about it, really. What do you guys think? $295, I don't know how to say this brand name. I'm not even gonna try. After hours of digging through these boxes, it feels like we're finally getting some good stuff. They're so <gasps> cute. We have to find the other one. Steve Madden. The pile of pairless shoes is growing. What is this? Oh, they're like lunch lady hairnets. Oh my gosh. Dang, there's a bunch of these bags of stuff from Forever 20. Whoa. Oh, they're all little crop tops. Those are way cute. <laughs> We're back, we're refreshed, and we are over halfway going through all this stuff, but we do still have the treasure box to open. See what's in this. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Your leggings are by the way. Are you serious? The Leggy Queen <laughs> is wearing sheer They're leggings. They're comfy, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. A lot of jewelry. Like Kendra Scott, this is nice. Okay, we might have just hit our $12,000 jackpot right here. <laughs> oh, whoa, this is a replica of Jackie Kennedy's bracelet. <gasps> Swarovski! What's it gonna be? Oh, whoa. It's, oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's like a little dinosaur or something. Zales, isn't that like nice diamonds? What if that's a real diamond ring? This is wild. Another Swarovski box. That one's a necklace, it's really tangled, but it's really pretty. It actually is only about $3,000 worth of jewelry with the best finds being these earrings that I thought were hilarious and these white gold hoop earrings worth $200. Back to the big boxes. Oh yes, I found it. We've been digging through these boxes for over six hours at this point. It's a lot more stuff than I anticipated. Oh, this is good. Oh, perfect. What's on them? Droids in the shape of nuts. I think they're butts. They're. <gasps> Asteroids, get it? Oh, speaking of underwear, we've also got the butt lifter panty. Try it on. Over my leggings, let's see if they work. Oh, I gotta show the before, after. Am I lifted? Oh yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh. 
How do you even wear that? We've also got some pretty interesting dresses and club wear. It's a, whoa, look at it. Oh. Okay, I'll try it on. Whoa, <laughs> there's a lot of holes in this dress. Wow, it looks like something I'd wear to like a pit bull concert. Okay, are you ready for the coolest thing in the box so far? Look at this. We're trying this on. Wow, this was a good find. Wow, yeah it was. Somebody got their prom dress lost in the mail, but it's a good find for me. We love a jean and chain combo. <laughs> Definitely like jean underwear with a booty scrunch. Try on, try on. <laughs> no. You really want me to try that on for free on the internet? <laughs> yeah. Are you happy? <laughs> all right, we are going to cruise through the rest of this, but all you need to know is these boxes really have everything you need from fuzzy handcuffs <laughs> to microfiber towels. Give those to me. You never have too many microfiber towels. Hey, here we We're go. So close to being done. Well, I'm not done because we have the treasure box. And just like that, we've made it to the end of these boxes. I'll let you know what the final total worth ends up being soon. And. A Gap t-shirt. $12,600. Please, treasure box, be good. It's finally time for the treasure box. Please be good. Wow. All right, well, let's start with this right on top. That's actually really cool. All right, we've got um this that I probably can't show. Is that real? It's a weapon. Ah. A longboard? That's nice. Oh, I see dice in something. Oh, vacuum. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a cordless one. $800. No way. For a vacuum? What? Oh, oh my gosh. Do you think it's real? If it's real, it's a $3,000 bag. It's actually a $4,000 bag, but let me know in the comments if you think it's legit or not. Tiny case spade wallet. Is there $11,000 in it? No, but there is. It's one penny. No. Golf clubs? Yeah. Are they nice ones? P700s? Those are some nice clubs. Ooh, they're brand yeah, new. Let's go. Let's go. $1,700 for a full set. Well, there's a whole lot more where that came from. There are a ton more golf clubs in this box, but unfortunately they're all pretty beat up or just not worth anything other than this little guy. Oh, this is a bokey wedge. This is a nice wedge, but it's left hand. Baseball bats. Last time the baseball bat that we had was a huge win. Oh, right, right there. Roger Clem Clemens. Oh, no doubt. Oh, whoa, 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 this one's signed. <laughs> I know, I don't know whose signature it is though. I asked you on my IG story for help identifying this signature. Shout out to Rachel and boyfriend for solving the mystery. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 what? wait. Is that an actual Taylor guitar? Let's see if there's anything in it. Taylor's like my favorite guitar brand. Oh, it definitely Oh my is. gosh, it is. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. That's a good find. <laughs> What the heck is that? That's a bike frame. A bike frame? What am I gonna do with this? <laughs> I don't know anything about bikes, but if you do, let me know if you think this is worth anything. Wait, is this more bike parts then? <laughs> that is also a bike from Canada. Oh, it's oh. coach! <gasps> no way. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Normatec. This is like for recovery for like athletes and stuff. Oh yes, open it up. Good thing you're here, because I would have just like thrown this away and not like what it was. Seven hundred dollars. <laughs> you look ridiculous. These, this is incredible. <laughs> My legs feel amazing. Okay, are you ready for the next treasure? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I don't know what they are. That one's beat up, see. but this one's in good shape. This one's pretty hammered. Here we go. <laughs> My first hoverboard. <laughs> this is the last box that's in here. This is so weird. So the top of this box just says research. High-end research. <laughs> and then inside, what is it? Is that a typewriter? It's totally a typewriter. No way. It's not really worth a lot, but it's pretty freaking cool. The treasure box ended up being $9,936 of stuff. 14,000 of the Dior is real. All the rest of this is $42,720 worth of stuff. I ended up keeping about 5,827 for myself and friends. As for the rest of it, normally I would sell all of this stuff on my website, but I have a different plan. Make sure to check out our other videos about buying lost cargo and mail down below. See you in the next one. Say bye, YouTube.